Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and you, can you believe it? Can you believe it? We're talking about something that might be a big problem in Hearthstone, especially it's standard rotation. And well, there's a reason I have five different decks. This was posted by HS Replay. We're gonna go over why I, and we've talked about and heard a lot about this, why Death Knight might be a real serious problem once standard rotation occurs. Before we get into all of that though, if you, if you enjoy the content, if you like it, earn your subscription, hit that sub button down below. The old video like, it's amazing how many subs we've been getting lately. Thank you all for that. And again, expansion announcement should be next week, as uh, said by Blizzard, and we'll announce our big giveaway then. Should be a lot of fun. So, why do I have these five decks up? We have Undead Priest is ridiculously good. I even, oh wait, I um, I would never play that deck to hit legend. I would never play Priest. Okay, maybe maybe I did. I'm a little bit ashamed, but yeah, the deck just like smarks. It's really good. You got Fell Demon Hunter. You got Agro Mage, Unholy Death Knight, and Pure Paladin. And you'll note even like Vicious Syndicate Data Reaper Report. This is the most recent uh, Data Reaper Report. Again, I'll link this below if you want to take a look. If they do a lot of good work, take a look at data, interpret all that stuff, and you can see Death Knight super popular. Even like an all ranks top 1000 legend kind of falls off where it's not doing as incredibly well but regardless you'll take a look at their tier list you take a look at the best decks no death Knight's not tier one but you got unholy death Knight. you got frost aggro death Knight. and why am i talking about how good death Knight is against all these other top tier decks well unlike all these other top tier decks and all these other top tier classes death Knight is losing absolutely nothing in rotation. Since Death Knight was introduced late in the third expansion of the year, they put it kind of at a higher power level. If you remember Demon Hunter, when that came in, it was the first expansion of the year. So it's kind of that relative same card level as other classes, but for Death Knight, they kind of had to catch it up and put it to the power level where it could compete with the, you know, classes and decks that have like six expansions worth of cards. The problem being, you know, that's only gonna be true for one expansion. Once rotation occurs, these decks are losing a lot. And all you gotta do is like, take a look at Undead Holy Death Light. This deck was tier, or sorry, I mean, I guess the Frost one was just as OP, but um, you look at these Death Light decks, they were like tier one. They were, Death Light was like tier S with the, the uh, Construct Quarter at uh, like three mana. And again, they're losing none of these cards. They do run a couple of neutrals, like Amalgam of the Deep. They run uh, Mastalor. Th those are not rotating or anything like that. Hell, school teacher, famish fool, the other ones, and also Nerubian Vizier and Hogstrider Rancher. None of these cards are rotating. Like they use pretty much everything from the most recent set. So you take a look at a deck that's got like pure power level and it's already doing really well. And compared to Undead Priest, which a lot will argue is like the best deck in the game right now, um, it loses a somewhat important card. You might want to say that Dark Bishop Benedictus. You know, you have shadow spells. You turn your hero power into shadow form. Really cool card. I actually tweeted um, that I wouldn't even be in favor of this being like a core set card. It just feels like a really nice way to play Priest. You don't have to play the traditional control style, but you can even play a control style with Dark Bishop Benedictus. It like, even in WoW, one of the best decks for a long time was Reno Shadow Priest, which was a control style deck. So like, really cool card. I'm gonna be really sad to see it go. But yeah, you're seeing cards, I believe, Magic Hexen. Uh, yeah, it's an Alterag Valley card. Like, they're losing a lot of good stuff. They're losing a lot of stuff. Void Touch Attendant, another really powerful card. So you see like, these decks, they're gonna get hit a lot. And they're gonna get hurt a lot. They're gonna get worse uh fell demon hunter um kind of loses an important card jay stark weaver it's fell payoff right that whole thing that alone is a huge blow let alone you know other cards that'll be going like fell barrage and other things like that so you see the other classes are all like going to be fundamentally a lot worse whereas death Knight's not gonna miss a beat but there are decks like let's take a look at miracle rogue as a tier one example from vicious syndicate this is a deck that probably doesn't lose a heck of a lot and that that makes me um well we'll see we'll see because there is a certain card shadow step which again i'm gonna be shocked if it's not in the core set they're in love with this card they would like to nerf every card in existence around it rather than deal with the card feel like it's gonna stay but they could lose shadow step it's a possibility they will lose blackwater cutlass um but that's really about it most of these cards against a mailbox dancer will be going but for the most part like miracle rogue will be intact so not everything 
something like just dies a death so many powerful cards will be rotating and all the archetypes of uh, fra uh like death knight seem very viable least extent being uh death like blood death knight um it is kind of struggling but i think with rotation will get better and i'm wondering like will this be a problem like of course there's a new core set there's a new expansion that's going to be coming in that will infuse power to these other classes it's not like they're not going to get you know other cards but so will death knight and like will they just make sure not to give them that good of stuff will they maybe nerf stuff ahead of time to like preemptively deal with it or is it most likely what happens all the time in these types of situations where you think oh this deck's not losing much this isn't doing that much it's going to be a problem in the future and then they print absolutely broken cards across the board and it doesn't even matter and you're like wait that deck used to be a problem so i'm honestly not entirely sold one way or the other what is going to be the biggest problem because even today as it stands death light 51.4 percent uh win rate across all ranks it's been recently nerfed i feel like yeah after rotation it's probably going to be absurdly strong due to the fact that it's just again all the other classes are lose like for for one thing losing their hero cards which has always felt like man when the the other player plays their hero card against death Light, it just feels so like unfair that's going to be gone as well so again will be really interesting to see how it plays out and also there's another thing unrelated to death Light, although death Lights do play i mean everybody plays it y'all remember prince renathal do y'all remember how it was nerfed because it was too popular I just want to throw this one out there if you take a look at um let's standard whatever let's go with just diving through legend in percentage of decks astalor bloodsworn is this card also going to continue to be a problem 43.2 percent of decks we lost prince renathal for hitting that 40 percent barrier although when it got nerfed it was down to like 35 33 percent he's down all the way to 17 percent and his decks just don't do well but people love the card so they keep trying trying their damnedest it just doesn't work which makes me really sad but you take a look at astalor 43 percent and then Bran, the 36.4% of the deal. We basically have had it confirmed by the devs. Bran will not be staying. Will Astralor still remain that high, right? Or will they just make another broken neutral that will replace it, right? Because again, before Astalor, it was Sire Denathrius. And even with Astalor and Denathrius existing, Denathrius wasn't nerfed quite yet. Uh, when Astalor came out, people just ran Denathrius. So will it just be replaced? Is it really a problem when they just typically print absolutely busted baroquean cards that take the place but i did want to make this video talk about this topic because i've seen a lot of people that are genuinely concerned that death light power level is going to be way too high after rotation after all these classes lose all these pivotal cards i think it could be a problem but i really do think it's probably overstated because yeah the, the amount of power creep the amount of power level in cards it just doesn't seem to matter how strong something is when the next set happens it, it typically just you know it isn't so much unless it's like a sire denathrius and then they do nerf it right and then things kind of go from there so we'll have to see how it plays out of course we don't know the cards and all of that but death Light, at least for me it is a little bit concerning but hey i'm gonna add to that win total and maybe we'll hit 2000 wins uh for the next expansion if it's still completely broken because i'm sorry i still love the class it's it's probably my favorite addition to hearthstone like Ever. I just really still quite enjoy it compared to Demon Hunter, which was just like an absolute bummer. Really didn't like that class outside of like Soul Fragments I really enjoyed. But anyways, that's probably a topic for another video for another day. But uh, I guess I'll stop rambling. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Will Death Knight be a problem or a good old power creep take care of everything? Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.